me and shake my hand <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand gag one of those classics that's just always funny, no matter how many times you do it. So, you're a human, right? <laughs> now that's hilarious. And it's not even the funniest part. Wait till you hear the punchline. The name is Sans, and Sans the Skeleton. You can see I'm really busy at work I'm a sentry And I'm supposed to be on the lookout for humans See, told you it was good Eh, don't worry kid I don't really care about capturing anyone That would cut into my break now my brother, on the other hand, guy's a human hunting fanatic. Day in, day out, all he talks about is, oh, that's him over there. Here I have an idea, just step over this trap. Yeah, just step right over it. My bro didn't want a human to get hurt. Also, it's not on the path. These very safety conscious. Hide behind this very conspicuous object in the foreground. Make sure to hide on this side for some reason. Surprise. What's up, bro? Who could have guessed you'd still be in the exact same place I saw you last? If it weren't for the slipper prints, I'd wager you had moved all day. But this time I did not have to shake your bones awake. Your indolence borders impressive, you're sloth enough to flabbergast. Just spend more time in dreams and life as you can nap the day away. A second thought, perhaps, maybe getting you this job is a mistake. We'll never catch any humans at this rate, brother. Where's your work ethic? Oh, come on, bro, I'm just resting up. You know how hard I work. In fact, right before you arrived, I'd nearly blow my backbone out. I spent all day working hard to pull this object into the foreground. Maybe you should take a look and appreciate my workmanship. Sam, I am a busy skeleton. I clearly don't have time for that. I need to keep my wits about me just in case a human comes. Imagine the catastrophe. 
one word to arrive while I was here with you. Lamenting your amissness. What an embarrassment. Bro, that sounds rough. This human thing has gotten under your skin. Sans. Hey, don't blame me. You're the one with the bones who picks. Sans! Hey, come on, you're smiling, bro. I know, and I hate it! When I finally catch a human, I'll be popular. So popular. My greatness will be recognized by everyone. Everyone. I'll wake every day in the Garden of Kisses. Every monster will want to be my new best friend. All my new friends will respect my wisdom. And I myself will let me join the royal guard. It's been my destiny since I was a baby boy. To serve and to not share your torpidity. I know, bro. I believe in you. But, you know, I just wish you'd take a break every once in a while and stop working yourself to the bone. Yes, Sam. Well, I'm afraid I must get back to work. I have no choice but to leave you here alone. As a skeleton crew. Yeah. <laughs> Alright kid, you can come on out Better get going before he gets back Actually, one sec on second thought Think I can snag a favor from you My bro's been kind of down lately He's never seen a human in real life Seeing you would probably just make his day you look kind of scared, and that's hilarious. Tell you what, he has to stop at the store later for more ingredients. Why don't you meet us up there in a bit? It's just up ahead. I'll be there. Thanks a thousand. Sometimes the peace of modern life My little cinnamon everywhere Given the piles of snow all around You might start to think Our claims are all so groundless But we don't mind the tepid response No trouble at all The firewood is boundless Welcome to Snowden Town Our fridge is only underground Actually, the first one I've sold. Careful, they're kind of a little too cold to hold. I can't imagine why business is so slow. Doesn't everyone like ice cream? It's the perfect way to cool down after a hard day of work. Keeping the core cool all by myself. 
I can admit I don't understand How it can snow A hundred feet below ground Neither can I I don't even like snow cones But hey, when you're in Rome I'm moving to New Orleans Welcome to Snowed in Town Sparkling, shining Jewel of the crown A nice cup of cocoa Thaws any frown So many marshmallows You're liable to drown Here in Snowed in Town Yo! You're a kid too, aren't you? I could tell Cause you're wearing a striped shirt Huh, I wonder if that weird skeleton is a kid or an adult. Let the snowball fight begin. Stay at the famous Snowden Inn. One day we'll make you quit hot land and waterfall cold turkey. Zoom through town on an inn or two. Dodge the small dog cosplay. We'll freeze you in your tracks and knock you out cold We'll have you saying cool beans I love it here in Snowden Town Politeness's sake, but it seems someone's made a grave mistake when I went to stock up on angel hair. To my great horror, the spaghetti shelf was bare. Not even a box of cavatappi was there. But fear not, don't fall into despair. Maybe you've saved a few boxes elsewhere. Papyrus. Well aware, all the pasta vanished without warning. It's all gone because you waited outside the store since before dawn and bought it all this morning. Oh, very well then. For your thoughts, there's a box left. You walked right, pasta without realizing. Not as good as spaghetti, but still a reasonable substitute. I would not be surprised if you'd bought out all the spaghetti in the ZD. In the Z. Must your infernal puns follow me even here? Well, there's no need to get saucy, bro. Is it true for everyone that on occasion they wish that their older brother would disappear? Hey, don't worry, I'm just being a few silly. And honestly, those ones are so much worse. Can't resist the possibility. When I don't realize you made I'm one of the bro, I'm just saying. Oftentimes, I think of what a sorry state you'd be in without such a cool guy taking care of I you. I have the coolest brother. Speaking of, are you supposed to still be at your century state? Somewhere in the woods I'm on a break, I work so hard That sometimes I take two days off Just to think about how hard I work. It's not working hard, that's hardly working And I'm not going anywhere But I don't think your wish is fair Imagine your life sans end A pun! In reaction to my reaction to your puns My days would be quieter My house would be cleaner I wouldn't have to constantly pick up your socks I could make room for all my new friends And the parties to throw in my name No one to serve pasta to while you watch Metaton alone No comedy to brighten your day That doesn't sound fun, I think you'd agree how dismal your life would become Who reads you a bedtime story? Well, you And who tucks you in afterwards? Oh, that's true And who got you that awesome Christmas gift last year? Sans, that was just 
just a rock with a ribbon around it. And now Rocky's part of the family. Maybe too harsh a condemnation. I know you didn't really mean it, Maybe bro. I just need a vacation. Well, hey, now you're talking. Just sometimes when my eyes shut, I still see the ten-foot stack of plates and ketchup bottles piled up in your I'm room. For the world record. Sometimes love is easily, yet other times it must be dragged screaming out from under the bed. I love you like the brother I have. You know me, bro, like I always said. I think you're the raddest, coolest monster in the whole wide underground. Thank you, I agree with that statement. If your new friends don't tell you this, I know exactly what you'll miss if ever your life was sentenced. I'm so you just said and boondoggle down. I know that your heart is in the right place. Well, you lack in grace. All that said, both of us, our own name gather them out of whack. Just two inmates up against your never gooey pappies. Just I know your potential, and the only thing that's stronger is your refusal to reach it. Brothers fight, that's what they do. It's not like it's a fabrication that I can't be lazy at times. I'm glad you finally admitted it. But next to you, what am I to do? You I can't hold a candle to No value in half-finished plans The only remains of the skeleton clan Strong bones of support As far as the barrier stands Without two femurs, how would one stand? You coerced me into singing in harmony with you when I'm supposed to be on the lookout for humans. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Honestly, we must remain vigilant at all times. Well, speaking of humans and being vigilant... Not to interrupt your busy schedule Of always looking for humans, but Take a quick peek over at stage left Whichever one's in that direction Could my eye sockets be deceiving me? Definitely not, bro That's the coolest rock I've ever seen Well, you're not wrong Game recognized game That is a pretty awesome looking rock But actually, I was referring Flashy thing with legs and hair and organs. Sans. Is that a human? Right there. Mm -hmm. By the angel. I thought this moment would never come. A human. Providence right in front of me. Wowie, I'd jump out of my skin if I had any seen before, only a dream that I have every single night. You're the greatest human I've ever witnessed. Granted, I've only ever seen just one. But still, I rate you five out of five humans. Second thought, maybe even six. Human, I, the great papyrus, will not allow you past this point. I shall, in this order, stop you, capture you, deliver you to the capital, and then. I'm not really sure what will happen after that. Couldn't you just capture them now? 
Sans. I am a skeleton of very high standards. I don't accept easy victories, only hard won victories. Oh, of course. Sorry, I'm just being. Sans, I swear, if you say ding bad, so help me. I was gonna say wing ding, but still, your anger is center justified. Humans, enjoy your final uncaptured moments. Your greatest challenge awaits ahead. Oh, and so does that restaurant Sand spends all his time in. You should stop there. They have the best cocoa. Yeah. Hey, thanks, kid. You're really great at standing there and being a human. I haven't seen my bro this happy since I helped him make that costume he wears. I guess I owe you one. Balls in my court. Don't worry, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. But I have the feeling you won't give up so easily. That's what the red means, you know. Determination. Well, hey there. Haven't seen a new face in forever. Are you from the capital? You look it. Are you here all by yourself? Holy frostbite. Come on in from the cold, friend. to speak of, save for this little bit. Festive, huh? Way back when, all monsters lived in the ruins, back past that cropping of woods there. Long story short, eventually we spread out and made our way to the end of the caverns. Along the way, us fuzzy folk said, Shopping snowed in town A little cold never bothered us anyway Hang some lights, spread the tents all around Turn our home into a holiday Get away, life goes on as it always has Claustrophobic, a bit dull But we all know deep down freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we have that, life doesn't seem as dark as it is. The days go by, we grit our teeth, but that's life, isn't it? And don't bother trying to visit the ruins, by the way. The place has been closed off for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the ground or something. Oh, you like it? I've had this thing for a month of Sundays. Tell you what, you can have it. Think of it as a souvenir. But only if you promise to get all your friends to visit and buy something at my shop. Why are we still hanging out here, much as I love hanging out? Do you just want to run into the human of again? Of course not. I'm not waiting, I'm gathering intelligence. Already obsessed with a stranger. Sand, there's no such thing as strangers. Just friends I haven't met yet. You're always so quick with your judgments. I'm not obsessed with the human. I am simply taken by their way with words. Well, that makes sense. Their sweaters just so cool. I didn't know that stocking was a way of showing. Oh, pardon me. I 
seem to have forgotten about your horde of fangirls on the undernet. Okay, the skeleton can dream, can he? So that's why you sleep so much. I see you've met our resident wacky skeleton neighbors. If you're ever bored, just pop a squad and enjoy the show. They just showed up one day, moved in like they own the place. This town's never been the same. They're actually pretty funny, always caught up in some antics. Even if the tall one is a, a bit much at times. Oh, you're from the capital, you said. In that case, this might be a common sight for you. But we hardly see the royal guard round here. Wait, the what? By His Majesty His Royal Throne We brave few Unite against the tyranny of humanity Though encased in stone We fight through To replace the fear in me with sanity Doggo, get back in formation Sorry sir, that's just a really cool rock It is, but you've already seen it a million times by now And over your information The field manual doesn't mention Looking long other's eyes. Should we add a section on that? I thought you all volunteered to be the goodest good boy. We did! A good boy. Don't break rank to get head pats from passers. -by. That only happened at one time! One time is too many. With the weight on all what a cute puppy dog! The head pad rations plenty! Yeah. Uh, as you were, sir, your leg was kicking, sir. As you were! Sleep in peace tonight, head full of dreams of sunshine shimmering on the royal flag. Dream of sky so bright, soothing beams, enough to make the tales of the loyal wag. One of your sunshine's right here. If they're just a nuzzle away What if a human slips by While you two are canoodling They wouldn't stand a chance or Nothing could keep the pets at bay In the face of a double nose Ooh. Okay, fair enough I admit that would be pretty adorable However, I am afraid I cannot permit such tomfoolery on duty There's too much at stake here The future starts with us Oh my god, was that a chipmunk? There are no chipmunks in the underground, sir I, I, Enough Good boys get pets, good boys get pets, good boys get pets Good boys get pets, good boys get pets, good boys get pets, good boys get pets, pets. Good boys get pets, 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 oh so many scratches, fear not my friend, there's no need to chase your tail in anguish, duty transcends our sacred creed, the little monster kin won't languish, also the thing about the pets, we still very much desire that, please don't forget, about the pets, if you remember one thing only, please make it back. Hey, do you guys smell a human? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, excuse me, royal guardsman. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I, the great papyrus, saw something human. Shaped way back there in the woods. Human shaped? It might be a human. Men, and the one lady dog, on me. For the crown. Not obsessed. <laughs> Bro doing my job for me, I appreciate it. Can't help but notice how despite your fear. Always should keep up this focus 
right for the sheer unknown a tenacity when your eyes show incapacity a scared child this far from home I know you got a lot of determination kid but it's almost like there's something else pushing you forward despite everything but then again I guess none of us are really alone Hey, no fair, you can run faster than me. I thought you said the god of super death's power was super speed. God of hyper death. <laughs> They're both silly. It's not silly, it's cool. Sunlight. Oh yeah, the throne room is the only place down here that gets sun. Uh, oh, we'd better be careful not to get our nice clothes dirty. Uh, Mom will get mad. Isn't it nice? This is my favorite part of the castle. I play here so long, sometimes my feet hurt from the gravel. The light hurts my eyes, but it makes me feel alive. Mom says not to stare, but sometimes I do. Close my eyes and pretend. Oh, Kara, I'm sorry. I didn't The underground is so small, everyone knows each other. No one will be mean to you today or anything. Ezreal, you're the best. You I know I can trust. Children, there you are. Had a feeling we'd find you here. Your mother was only slightly worried. <laughs> it is almost time. Are you ready, my child? I just uh, thought Carl would like to see your flowers, Dad. It does my heart good to see you two get along Like petals on a rose And you have not even ruined your ceremonial dress clothes Not yet I see the future when I look at the two of you The reign of the status quo in need of a coup Child, now that we have you Our future is so bright The hope you have given us We can face the day open eye You are the answer Our hopes conjured The future of humans and monsters I say that an awful lot, don't I? Children, it is almost time. Go on and finish getting ready. Is there something the matter, dear? Oh, you know me. I am always worried about one thing or another. Well, I'm glad one of us is. That's why we make such a good couple. What is it? Are we sure the time is right? Is it too early for this? What do you mean, Tori? It was just three weeks ago. Child fell head first into an abyss. So difficult. I know you are hopeful. Of course I am too. I just do not want hope to supersede what this child has been for. Of course not. Just thinking back to that day they fell into our lives. The tutorial with the puns. So scared and 
broken Just hit the day they arrived The future of humans and monsters Is a lot of pressure for a child is all Shake my suspicion that not all of their scars were from their fall. Children, you look like royalty. Attention, all monsters of the underground. By royal decree, let the trumpet sound. Please bestow your warm ovation upon the most joyful royal prophet. Your attention I defer To their majesties, king and queen Howdy everyone, greetings I come to you today with the most wonderful news. I'd like to take this time to formally introduce someone some of you have already met here and there. The newest member. Ago, my son found this human child wounded and alone. In that short time, the friendship between them, how close it has grown. A friendship penetrating 200 feet of stone. To those who say that monsters and humans cannot live as to meet our fallen redeemer Cara Dreamer did really well today told you everyone would be nice did dad uh, uh, mr king dad really mean it about me being a dreamer of course we meant what we told you kara you don't have to be afraid of any of us the only thing that fears dad is weeds in his gut wait you called dad dad don't tell him i said that oh but why not Father's Day is next month. M maybe you can call him dad then. Father's Day? Yeah. Or maybe we can bake him a pie together or something. That way he knows how you feel even if you're too scared to say it. I know where mom keeps her recipe book. I, I think his favorite is snail pie. Ugh, bleh, it's so gross. I don't understand why humans don't like snails. They're awesome. Uh, okay, we can make a butterscotch cinnamon one instead. That's his second favorite. Would he like that? Of course he would. Especially if we made it. Did you want to go back to playing superheroes? Oh, sure. But the god of hyperdeath is no ordinary superhero. He's the protector of the underground with his faithful human sidekick. <laughs> Just as I was starting to get homesick. The symbol of hope and his silly billy goat, Kara. you
so excited about facing off against me, you passed out. For like, two hours. Hovering over someone unconscious is creepy at all. Sans, I was merely checking to see if they're all right. An uncommon strategy in battle. Being an enemy to each other's sure. kind is no excuse for rudeness, Sans. I had planned to capture you with a brilliant trap of my own. Trash from that dump in I am a finder of fine treasures, unlike you. Maybe I find some cool stuff there, like what? That computer graphic game you played obsessively. What's the point of a game to see who can nap the longest? It's like a game for people who hate games. What's the point? I'm Dog. And then, worse yet, an annoying squirrel scampered by directly after and just did the same thing, only set to music. So unoriginal. Human. I'm afraid I have a confession to make. But lately, it's down to two-thirds And swimming, but sinking fast Such complex emotions Each breath competes to be your last Engulfed in turmoil you can't understand Deeper than the world's oceans Head always in So desperate to have someone rad Think that you are cool Thinking someone's sweater Means they have great taste Great taste in sweaters and in friends That must be exactly how you feel right now. I, of course, have never felt that way. I know exactly what it feels like to have extremely cool friends. Lots of them. But since you're so very intimidated by me, perhaps we shouldn't battle. But of course, we should still hang out, er, engage with each other. We just wouldn't call it a battle. We call it something else instead. Say, for example, a date. Uh, worry not, human. I have taken the liberty of perusing a dating guidebook from the Snowden Library. By happenstance, of course, as I have in no way planned any of this. Do you, small human, agree to go on a date with I, the Great Papyrus? Excellent, yet unsurprising. First order of business is to be myself. And be completely honest about how I feel. I feel strangely like suplexing a boulder And making extra sure that you see it happen Second order of business, ensure you're properly dressed To make a good impression when entertaining a guest my battle body probably does the job in these situations. Wait, you like it? Oh no, you're meeting all my expectations. You're knocking them dead, bro. Figuratively, of course. Sands don't embarrass me. Wouldn't dare. Is 
accept this offer of a fine Italian dish. This is an ordinary pasta, it's a one of a kind masterpiece. Cardboard aged pasta, fresh picked from the shelf, boiled in water that used to be snow in my backyard. Words alone fall short of describing the taste. You'll lick the sauce from the plate so none will go to waste. As long as your soul is strong and you're up on your vaccinations. You love it? I knew it. You're meeting all my expectations. Of honesty, there are some things that human would find interesting. What kind of thing? I'm always honest. The great papyrus is an open book. Every night when I tuck you in, I have to make engine noise. Of course, man. Because my bed is shaped like a race car, what else would it be shaped like? When we get to the surface, I'm going to drive a real one. I know, bro. What about all your action figures, strategic battle simulators? Who got you then? Santa Sands. Yeah, but who had an in to deliver your letters to him? You did, brother. Glad to be of service. Imagine the look on all their faces When the two of us walk side by side Great papyrus is friends in such high places They have to dive down a deep dark pit Just to ensure our paths collide Two people extremely cool in their own way High-fiving for 80% of each day Reciting in jokes that only we can comprehend Um... Is it hot in here or what? Small human I think that we should talk How best to put this? Human, I know that the feelings you have for me run deeper than something on the surface that's really deep. I'm afraid that I could never hope to match the red hot intensity of your love for me. Fear not, human friend. The great papyrus knows just how to extinguish this social faux pas. We can just act like this never took place, and you won't have to lose the coolest friend you have. What do you say, friend? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Now we can return to simply being the best of friends. I, the great papyrus, grant you permission to pass. Continue on to the capital, then pass right through the barriers. Normally that's impossible, it's what keeps us down here. Nothing can exit, but friend, you have a strong soul. And I've heard that's what it takes That's why the king wants a human soul But honestly, I wouldn't worry about him He's such a fluffy pushover You probably just have to say Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, I sure would like to return home And he'd lead you to the barrier himself In the meantime, I've packed you a bagged lunch of my underground famous pasta just in case on your journey you need to put some luck and pluck in your step, underground famous. For now, when it's finally unveiled to the surface, it'll be known and loved by all from here to Manchester, England, no, New Hampshire. 
what's the new hammer? Oh, I've also taken the liberty of adding my number to your phone. And don't ask how. Feel free to call any time. Platonically, of course. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't have their heart set on my bro? I'm heading up to Grillby's. Wanna tag along? I know a shortcut. I'll meet you up there. What took you so long? Sans. What's up? Greetings, Sans. Hey, weren't you just here for lunch? Lunch was like half an hour ago. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Take a load off, kiddo. Go ahead and sit down. What's that look for? Come on, Will. What? Did you think I'd try to hide something under the seat? Cut me some slack, kid. I have some class. Quite a place, huh? It's like my home away from home. So what'd you think about my bro? <laughs> yeah, he's super cool, a real star. He works so hard, not just for me, but for everyone. showed up at the captain of the royal guard's house when he was done begging she kicked him out cause it was 3am but come the next morning she opened up her door and there he still was When she saw it, so she agreed to train him. It's a work in progress, but he keeps at it every day. Isn't my brother just the coolest guy around? Catch up? No. More for me. Down here, everyone's obsessed with drinking the stuff. Or, more accurately, obsessed with me drinking the stuff. Well, kid, that was a long break. I let you pull me away from work for so long. By the by, I'm flat broke. Could you fix the bill for me? Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. Oh, and by the way, 
Have you heard of a talking flower? Oh, so you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the wetland. Whatever you say, they'll repeat over and over. Something interesting when no one else is around. A flower appears and whispers things to him. Encouragement, flattery. Weird, huh? So it must be easy. An echo flower to play a prank on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. One more thing. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> You haven't forgotten about little old me, have you? You act like you're a little child Lost and from afar But I have my suspicions I think I know who you are Hide your past behind a smile Make it so yourself no you can't hide from me tell me your worries and I'll make them disappear and don't feel high and mighty just because you survived beyond the old had been done I've already seen it dying's just another word for being alive and Question, what's the name of your syndrome? Cozy up to folks invested in your death. But the skeletons and dweeb, the old lady made me pie. Tell me, would you still praise them with your dying breath? Step into my little shop filled with horrors of all kinds. Where there's not much oxygen if the vines don't slack their vines never trust a flower those who threaten smiley trash bag I watched your eyes widen from a guard dog's tail wag I saw your face when he mentioned me the color drained from your skin I saw you flinch from the sight of a bad comedian's grin no one accused of not playing your part And oh, by the way, has your nanny goat mom ever even picked up the phone? No? Hmm, such a shock. If she really cared about you, why not escort you instead of sending you out alone? She's very fond of bringing strings. You saw how she smiled. Smiled like your her little pet like she solves every problem by imprisoning the nearest child. That's right, why listen to me? No one will hurt you if you behave. Just a dusty flower growing in the cracks in a coffin of a cave. Never trust a flower. Just can't see.
see the root Flowers can make you wheeze. Never trust a flower. Kings are already dead. If a green thumb does see you well, perhaps you'd rather try a shade of red instead. Never trust a flower. Don't ignore seeds and doubts. left to do They say the earth laughs in flowers so when you see the spines poke up from the snow 